Hi friends, once again a warm welcome to my YouTube channel Future Midwife. I think for today's section there is no introduction necessary because the last class I already introduced today's topic that is mechanism of labor. So this mechanism of labor is an inevitable topic for the student nurses. There is no practical exam without mechanism of labor. For the staff nurses, those who are working in the maternity ward, especially in the labor room, they need to know the stages of labor as well as the mechanism of labor properly. So it will help them to conduct the labor properly. So the nurses, those who know well about the mechanism of the labor, they can recognize any delay in the labor process. If there is any delay in the labor process, they can plan the management according to that. So today we will move on to the topic mechanism of labor. First of all, we will start with the topic with the definition of normal labor. This normal labor in the previous class I already explained, but I think this definition is necessary in this section also. So the normal labor means there is a serious events which takes place inside the uterus in order to expel the viable fetus and uterine product from the uterus into the external world through the vagina is called normal mechanism of labor in the stages of labor the normal labor takes place in the second stage of labor that means from the full dilatation of the cervix till the expulsion of the viable fetus so here it can be taken place by two methods the second stage of labor has two phases propulsive phases and expulsive phases in propulsive phases from the full dilatation of the cervix till the presenting part descend to the pelvic floor. In the expulsive phase, here the mother push the baby during each uterine contraction till the delivery of the baby. Usually the second stage will finish within two hours in case of primary gravida, whereas in case of multi gravida, it finishes within 30 minutes to one hour. Before moving directly to the mechanism of labor, I think it is necessary to explain the physiology of second stage of labor. So we'll see the physiology of second stage of labor before explaining the mechanism of labor. When we discuss about the physiological changes which happen in the second stage of labor, we just keep in mind there are two factors. The first factor is changes happen during uterine contraction. The next one is soft tissue displacement. When it comes to the uterine action, the contraction becomes stronger and longer but may be less frequent allowing both mother and fetus regular recovery periods. The membrane often ruptures spontaneously towards the end of the first stage or during transition to the second stage. The consequent drainage of liquor allows the hard round fetal head to be directly applied to the vaginal tissue. This pressure aids distension. Fetal axis pressure increases flexion of the head which result in smaller presenting diameter, more rapid progress and less trauma to both mother and fetus. The contraction become expulsive as the fetus descend further into the vagina. Pressure from the presenting part stimulate nerve receptors in the pelvic floor. This is termed the Ferguson reflex and the woman experience the need to push. The mother's responses to it employ her secondary power of expulsion by contracting her abdominal muscles and diaphragm. Next, we'll see the soft tissue displacement. As the hard fetal head descend, the soft tissue of the pelvis become displaced. So we have anteriorly bladder, posteriorly rectum, the levator ani muscles, perineal bodies. So we will have these areas, there will be a soft tissue displacement. The fetal head become visible at the vulva, advancing each contraction and receding between contraction until crowning takes place. 
the head is then born the shoulder and body follow with the next contraction accompanied by gush of amniotic fluid and sometimes of blood the second stage culminates in the birth of the baby there are some presumptive signs which indicate the mother is in the second stage of labor these are expulsive uterine action rupture of forewater presence of show full dilatation of the cervix and there is a gaping of anus then we can visualize the presenting part apart from that mother also feels some typical features these are the contraction becomes stronger and longer and which occurs every 1 to 2 minutes increase the pressure in the lower portion of the uterus because of that mother feels urge to push some mothers experience muscle cramps nausea and vomiting usually the mother experience stretching and burning sensation in the vaginal area so these are the typical features can be experienced by the mother during second stage of labor here we can move on to the mechanism of labor so when we think about the mechanism of labor always keep in mind the six considerations these six considerations are lie longitudinal presentation cephalic position right or left occipital anterior denominator is the occiput attitude should be complete flexion presenting part is the posterior part of the anterior parietal bone there are three main principles which happen in all normal mechanism of labor these are descent takes place throughout labor whichever parts leads and first meet the resistance of the pelvic floor will be rotated forward until it comes under the symphysis pubis whatever part emerges from the pelvis will pivot around the pubic bone so these are the three principle which we need to keep in mind when we discuss about the mechanism of labor the women those who are there in the second stage of labor need to complete the eight cardinal movements so once she complete the eight cardinal movements then only we can say the mechanism of labor get over these cardinal movements are engagement descent flexion internal rotation of the head extension of the head external rotation or restitution internal rotation of the shoulder and lateral flexion now i will explain the eight cardinal movements one by one the first one is engagement the greatest diameter of the fetal head passes through the pelvic inlet the second one is the descent movement of the fetus through the birth canal during the first and second stage of labor so here usually in normal mechanism descent will be taking place in each uterine contraction the third one is flexion the chin of the fetus moves towards the fetal chest which reduces the fetal head diameter from nearly 12 to 9.5 cm the fourth one is internal rotation the rotation of the fetal head until the longest diameter of the fetal head matches the longest diameter of the maternal pelvis the fifth one is extension the fetal head passes beneath the symphysis pubis and passes out of the birth canal making the crowning the sixth one is external rotation or restitution after the head has delivered the shoulder rotate internal to fit the pelvis next is expulsion the shoulder and the remainder of the body are delivered by means of expulsion these are the main cardinal movements which takes place during each mechanism of labor for your better understanding i just have a plan to explain the mechanism of labor with the help of a video so please have a look on it with this we can wind up today's section in the next class i have a plan to take management of second stage of labor along with the immediate newborn care so till that take care bye bye